Let's welcome back to the show Iowa Congresswoman Dr. Marionette Miller Meeks. Doctor, it's great to have you on. Okay, there's this bombshell admission from this top WHO official. He led the probe into the pandemic in China. Dr. Peter Embarek now says COVID patient zero is probably an infected Wuhan lab worker. What do you say to that? He's saying China is also in, is also pressuring him to stop digging. What do you say to all of this? Well, it's not a surprise. We know that uh, China has not been transparent or forthcoming about what happened. They have been very vociferous and denying uh, that there was any laboratory leak, but they've been covering up uh, uh, since this time. We know from the hearing that we had uh, in Congress uh, that uh, you know, for this to be of natural origin, zoonotic origin was very low likelihood. And even Dr. Tedros, uh, the uh, director of the WHO, said that definitely a leak from the laboratory was on the table. And I think as more evidence comes out, uh, we're going to find that that's the most plausible scenario. So whether it was an infected lab worker who got infected from a sample from directly from a bat or whether it was uh, the uh, gain of function research they were doing at the laboratory, we know that it leaked from a laboratory. And what's even more stunning is that we're getting near the end of the 90 days that uh, President Biden had the FBI look into uh, the lab leak theory. And they're probably going to come up and say that, uh, you know, they don't have enough evidence. And it's because we're not doing the right research and we're not doing the right investigation. Yeah. Well, this is going to undercut Dr. Fauci and others who dismissed this early on, also those in the media. You know, Dr. Fauci is now saying, yes, investigate it early on, was downplaying it. Dr. Embarek and also WHO officials also warned about a yeah. second Chinese lab in Wuhan run by China's version of its CDC. Listen to this. Dr. Embarker said that when he was in Wuhan, China, he asked about that second lab. He said, "How? when did it start? The Chinese said it, we started it in December 2019. Doctor, that means they were moving between these two laboratories viruses. It's December 2019 is when the official outbreak started. That's what China says it started. What do you say to this? Well, the, the, the official outbreak, they said, started December, but we already have information that it started earlier than that. We know that there were three laboratory workers who became ill and were hospitalized. That was in November. We know that there was military sports games that happened in October and that there were athletes from around the world. They said that uh, Wuhan was in a lockdown. They didn't have media. They didn't have fans. They didn't, uh, you know, it was like a ghost town in Wuhan and that uh, several of the athletes became ill uh, and had COVID-like symptoms, uh, as we would call them now. So we know that uh, it looks like the virus started much earlier than that. We have that evidence, although it's circumstantial. It certainly leads us to believe that uh, that the virus started much earlier than what the official proclamation is. And as we said, uh, China has continued to downplay any possibility that, that this leaked from a lab. Last year, I discussed with uh, physicians that there were two laboratories in Wuhan, although the one that's closest to the wet market where they said this originated is the Wuhan Institute of Virology. But there actually are two laboratories, and we know that they have breaches and safety protocol yeah, as well. That's right. Well, they were, if they're, it's really disruptive to be moving virus samples from lab to lab. That's dangerous stuff. And scientists, the WHO official, Dr. Peter Embarek, said they discovered there are at least 13 variants already circulating in Wuhan, China, by December. And, you know, the other interesting thing, too, is House Republicans on the House Foreign Affairs say it's really telling and revealing that China invested way more money and, you know, put more into shutting down the lock locking down what happened in Wuhan than investing in what started the pandemic at all. They'd invested zero into that scenario, into what started it. Started it. That's pretty revealing. What do you say to that? Final word. Well, precisely. Uh, they've covered this up from the beginning, and it's important that we know, and it's important for the international community, and I think that's why the WHO is coming out with this. The international community needs to make a decision on gain-of-function research and prohibit it. They also need to have... Uh, you know, uh, directives for transparency when there's disclosure, if there is a leak or a virus that could become a pandemic. Okay. And then lab safety protocols. So these are important things the international community has to make a decision on and move on. Okay. Congresswoman Dr. Marionette Miller Meeks, thanks so much for joining us. Come back soon.